They now keep a tab on our intimate body functions like heartbeat, sleep pattern, steps taken, and calories burned. Just like the phones, watches have also evolved with technology. Ranging from 2000 rupees to 1 lakh rupees or even more, the smartwatch segment is full of varieties being offered by a range of companies like Apple, Samsung, OnePlus, Noise, Bolt, etc. Now, according to several reports, internet search giant Google is also set to make its debut. So far, Google had only been developing software for smartwatches, but now it is moving slowly but steadily in the direction of making its own device. In January this year, it acquired the health and fitness device maker Fitbit for a whopping 2.1 billion dollars. Later, in May, it announced collaboration with Samsung to bring the best of Wear OS and Tizen OS in a single unified platform. And Google's efforts towards its wearable business resulted in significant growth in its market share. According to a recent Counterpoint research report, Wear OS shipment stood at 17.3% in Q3. This was a significant jump from just 3.1% in the first half of this year, according to IDC. So what is Google really trying to achieve with its reported entry into the smartwatch space? We spoke to Prabhu Ram, head of Industry Intelligence Group at Cyber Media Research to understand. So Google has traditionally enjoyed a strong uh, dominant edge when it comes to its software. You know, on the other hand, its uh, hardware strategy is fairly nascent. It's still a work in progress. You know, it has faltered in the past, and that's something which it's trying to uh, currently navigate as such. When you look at the smartwatch uh, segment itself, uh, what Google has been able to do is, with the Fitbit acquisition, it's been able to address that part of the puzzle when it comes to the hardware. Alongside, what Google has been able to gain is a strong expertise in health tech uh, from Fitbit, which when complemented with its own in-house capabilities, uh, really comes out as a strong uh, USP for its smartwatches. You know? And what Google would be trying to achieve with this potential smartwatch in 2022 is basically uh, to demonstrate what a successful marriage between strong software and strong hardware would mean uh, for the consumers, for the partners and for the market at large. According to reports, Google was about to launch a Pixel smartwatch in 2016. But the idea was shelved after the company's hardware boss, Rick Alsterlaw, objected to its design, which he said didn't look like one from the Pixel family. In its current form, Google's Wear OS may have fragmentation issues similar to Android. Samsung, Fossil, and Garmin are three big names in the tech industry that use Google Wear OS platform in their respective smartwatches. However, none of them delivers a cohesive experience. Some of the core functions of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 running the latest version of Wear OS are restricted to Samsung smartphones. Fossil's latest generation smartwatch runs a dated version of Wear OS. The same is the case with Garmin. So, will Google be able to address the fragmentation issue? Probably, uh, you know, maybe over the long term, it might uh, help in addressing this issue. As of today, I don't see that as a situation, but we can be fairly optimistic that hopefully if uh, all these, um, you know, experiments uh, do come to the fruition, uh, we might see, um, you know, for the sake of the consumers also, uh, Wear OS uh, really emerge on top. According to media reports, the Google smartwatch is internally codenamed Rohan, and it's referred to as the Pixel Watch or Android Watch by the select Google executives with access to the prototype. The smartwatch has a heart rate monitor and offers basic health tracking features such as step counting. As for design, it would have a round case with no physical bezel around the display. With Facebook planning to come out with its own smartwatch, Google's wearable device will have to face a tough competition. Its design and ability to strike a chord with customers will play a crucial role in its success. As of now, however, there is no official word from Google. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. 
For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.